What's going on, guys, and welcome to another episode of View for ReZero Season 2. This is episode 15, and with me, as always, I have Blue Spade. Mm hmm. Uh, so, this episode was actually titled, like, in two different halves. Mm -hmm. Like, the first half of the episode um, was titled Auto, and the second one is called A Reason to Believe. Yeah. So, well, there's a reason for so that. So, like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah th there is. Um, of course, the first half just mainly focused on Otto's backstory of, uh, like, uh, what happened during his childhood, how uh, he can communicate with uh, different beasts and animals uh, like he did, uh, well, what was it, I think late back in the last season? Or not, well, late in the first half of the season. Yeah, well, before that happens, too, uh, we get basically a follow-up of the scene from the last episode where uh, Otto is confronting Garfield in the, uh, uh, the replication facility. And uh, Garfield basically, like, chases, or, you know, uh, hits him and then he uh, uh, leaves the facility, I guess, presumably to uh, go after Subaru. Or, well, to find, uh, you know, to find the Ryuzu clone. Um, and then uh, uh, he runs into a trap, Garfield said for him, where he falls into a hole. And uh, the hole mm -hmm. is, uh, within the hole are these things called, uh, uh, what are they called again? Like these bugs? Um, I, I yeah, completely they, forgot the, what they were called, but but before before that, Otto stole the that crystal, uh, yeah, you know that little the crystal, yeah, yeah, just you know momentarily, which momentarily distracted Garfield, which led him into that trap hole mm. uh, to begin with, and um, of course, like this this leads into like like an extended chase between Garfield, uh, well, Garfield and Otto, but in the mi middle of that chase scene, like we <clears throat> see Otto like flashing back to his childhood. Mm about uh, how he can communicate communicate with animals or he has he apparently has had this um special ability yeah no no like, as a in, in, blessing, in, in, i think uh i think that's what they call it uh but uh mm -hmm. yeah the, uh, the novel kind of explains this but in the anime i guess you could sort of uh i, I mean it's pretty obvious i guess in the anime that well, like auto uh when he was younger could only like could mostly just hear animals communicating or something or just heard a bunch of noise and he couldn't really make out human speech um and uh the doctor basically found nothing wrong with him uh but it wasn't until like i guess later on that he's able you know he started to comprehend uh the animals talking and then uh i guess he had to learn i think it was like he had to learn to communicate at first through like writing down or you know like through uh written you know writing things down uh because his brother i guess teaches him how to do that and uh and i guess that is what i, I guess that might have been what what caused uh his mother to you know react the way she did uh i guess because you know Otto's never really i suppose been able to really like talk to her before um and mm -hmm. uh after that you know like it kind of uh you know yeah like we said like you said it, it sort of goes into his um him being able to talk to animals and all that and um uh, one of his siblings catches Otto talking to a land dragon, and Otto is basically saying, I can't really be seen talking to you anymore. Uh, so, like, as his brother says that it's best, it would be best to, like, hide his, uh, his blessing, I think, because one day he hears, I, I think they were called Zola bugs. Uh, the Zola bugs talking about how it's going to rain soon, and then, you know, it ends up being accurate. And his brother says, like, uh, <clears throat> uh, that he has to hide it. So, uh, he, he tried to do that, but of course, like I said, his sibling catches him and uh, tells everybody else that uh, Otto can talk to animals. Uh, so then he decides yeah. he's going to prove that he can do that uh, by uh, calling out a bunch of these Zola bugs. And uh, uh, that that's pretty much when, like, because uh, one of the kids says, like, oh, you're a freak, basically. And, uh, you know, his brother says that, you know, he really just needs to, like, stop doing that or just hide it better, I guess. Um so mm -hmm. yeah and then of course after that it cuts like uh because i think he was 10 at the time and then it cuts ahead to him being 15 um and uh basically like uh i think this was the same kid that called him a freak earlier like he's uh getting on him because he suspected Otto of uh getting with his girlfriend i guess um and he's like beating him up because of it and uh auto yeah. basically decides he's going to find that find out the truth because he know he, he knows he wasn't the one who was doing that so he talks to the other animals there, and the animals tell him that the truth of what was happening. And then Otto decides to confront the two of them about it, where he 
tells her boyfriend basically that like he's been cheating on you or she's been cheating on you with like eight different guys um and that's uh <laughs> and that she decides that you know i uh, unfortunately the 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 person he was accusing was the daughter of some kind of uh some noble or something so she uh basically <laughs> basically just uh wants his head essentially so then he leaves um and then that's when he uh you know becomes a merchant after that um uh and then you know he becomes a merchant and things look good for a while and then it seems like he somehow ran a, stumbled across uh beetlejuice uh because we we see him again and uh yeah. i was i was genuinely shocked because uh yeah they they tie him up but they don't like torture him or kill him uh, i have no idea how i have no idea why but yeah he's just like tied up in a cave uh, well pr probably because like um and a bet battle gives and his uh cult were being distracted with everything that's going on with uh, Su Subaru causing that mate. Mm. Well, pretty much uh, bringing them out and killing them off one by one to prevent um, Betelgeuse from transferring I guess it his depends body on, from, like, to another person. When that was, uh, because I, I don't know if that was around that time or if that was at a different time. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it, it it could be around like around the same yeah. time, sort of. I can't say for sure, but. But you know he he gets freed by uh what was it the that yeah, basement uh, guy uh, uh Ricardo I think yeah yeah I think I, his name was Ricardo yeah I'm pretty sure it's Ricardo yeah. yeah and like he you know, like uh, Otto gets freed and then like you know he like uh, he wonders like who is responsible for him getting freed and like well he you know Ricardo doesn't really say uh, the name the name of that person but we, of course we know it's Subaru mm -hmm. and then shortly afterwards um, you know he ends up uh, breaking down crying in relief and then shortly afterwards we see like um, what, what was it those twin oh the the cat the, the cat people well, yeah the, those twin cat cat people like uh, that that was uh, helping out with the the white whale thing mm -hmm. and, and that that's pretty much how how we got tied up <laughs> into the you know, onto that log before. Um, before he got freed by Subaru, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, so I guess that's like it pretty much brought brought that whole event in f full circle mm -hmm. at, at that point, and why um, Otto pretty much uh, uh, has respect and pretty much reveres Subaru after that point. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but of course, then it cuts back to the present day, where you know, of course, it, uh, Otto is is being chased by Garfield, um, and. Mm -hmm. uh, he he tries to slip away from Garfield, or well, like he hears, of course, first the animals tell him the Garfield's coming, and uh, he tries to avoid Garfield by, I guess he has like these small like bombs or something like uh, that he carries around, and he uses them to sort of, mm -hmm. uh, basically confuse Garfield, uh, but it doesn't really work for too long because Garfield ends up just you know swatting most of them away. Um, well, yeah. b b before that, like uh, we see Garfield like kind of overusing his ability to talk to animals which causes him to oh, you mean Otto? i guess have like i think he's like yeah. yeah Otto. yeah he he kind of has like some sort of aneurysm yeah. like which causes this um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah so apparently if you overuse your blessing it can cause you physical damage like physical harm mm -hmm. yeah uh but he, he still manages to hold his own for a while against garfield mm -hmm. just you know just by throwing all those uh what, whatever those crystal bombs were but Eventually, you know, Garfield does end up catching up to him, and then, um, and Otto states that like he he did as much as he could, and that's when Rom finally shows up to help him out. Yeah, um, yeah, Rom basically, um, uh, <laughs> pretty much just I think he just punches Garfield in the face multiple times, uh, but uh, yeah. uh, of course she also overused her ability and uh, ends up bleeding from her forehead, um. I thought I thought it was uh, Garfield uh, who, who damaged her for a bit without us knowing. Um, but unless no, I think uh, I think it was due to her. well in the novel they actually do explain it was uh, she was bleeding because she uh, overused her abilities. Um, so that that's what that was from. I don't think it would necessarily was from Garfield damaging her or you know Garfield's attack. Yeah, I, I yeah at first i really did think that it was garfield that hit her because she was bleeding by the forehead yeah, but i don't but, think we see a scene yeah, where, as far as i know like you know where he actually we uh, see her, him do that so, yeah um, mm -hmm. yeah well of course like you know the battle you know, still goes on and that's where we finally transition back to subaru going into the tomb um 
I, I didn't realize this at first, but you know, I completely forgot about the fact that Super, like, uh, Super wasn't able to go back into the tomb since the last season. Yeah. So I was just curious as to how the hell he was able to get back uh, in there. If like, yeah, this is something else. That if he wasn't of, able to go back, uh, I kind of wish they would have explained um, because everybody's probably confused about it. Uh, Subaru, pretty much through sheer willpower, is uh, somehow resisting the. Uh, uh, the pain he's feeling by you know entering the tomb i actually was under the assumption when i read this that he wouldn't even have been able to enter the tomb again because you know if we remember he pretty much like it completely rejects him every time he tries to go in there so i don't know i guess through sheer willpower somehow he's able to just walk in there i, I guess um because I, I like i said i thought he wouldn't even be able to enter the tomb in the first place mm-hmm yeah, but you know, eventually he he does manage to you know, walk walk up to Amelia and uh, well, pretty much try to talk her out of her depression after <clears throat> after what happened in the last episode with Puck disappearing. Mm -hmm. I guess permanently, if you can say maybe for sure. Uh, but yeah, but uh, but yeah, just, but you know, they they eventually have you know have this talk about like pretty pretty much you know Subaru trying to encourage her to you know. To, to keep moving forward and stop stop trying to you know live the past every single time and then of course he tell tells her that he loves her like pretty much unquestionably you know over and over again and of course uh, Amelia just pretty much uh, still call calls uh, calls him out saying is like why why wouldn't you stay you know stay with me in the night you know up until the morning and then super, super never really answers that yeah question. he says he can't he and can't answer it i i guess because it would reveal his plans uh i'm not exactly sure yeah he he also does mention like you know the, the conversation does kind of escalate a little bit into a, more of an art argument mm -hmm. well and uh super like you know does mention some things uh that emilia told uh, told him like in previous loops of course like Amelia calls him out on that just because she doesn't really specifically remember uh, telling you know telling him that in certain conversations yeah. and uh, you know of course Subaru can't really also can't really mention that you know the reason why yeah, yeah pretty much the reason for this argument is because Amelia is sort of frustrated that Subaru is constantly just kind to her and never really seems to criticize her uh, and she feels like you know it's because Subaru has low expectations of her and uh, expects her to not be able to, you know, do anything, basically. Uh, so, you know, she thinks that might be the reason for it. So that's kind of what starts this uh, starts this argument. So that's when Subaru decides, you know, he's going to actually, uh, um, you know, re reveal the thing, the things that actually about her that supposedly, you know, annoy him. Uh, and uh, that that's kind of what starts this whole back and forth. Uh, I actually really like the scene in the novel because it's like, I felt like this for the first time they were sort of being sort of like real with each other. They weren't really sort of, you know, just being lovey-dovey sort of, uh, you know, not really, uh, you know, I felt like they weren't really being totally honest. And in this scene, like they kind of, it seems like they open up more about how they really feel, I guess, or at least Subaru kind of does. Um, but uh yeah so this sort of i kind of like how in the scene too like whenever it cuts back to subaru uh like you see amelia reflected in his eyes uh i guess it's supposed to be symbolic of you know amelia being subaru's main motivation or his main goal is to save her um and then mm -hmm. whenever you, as the scene goes on the more you, you know, amelia starts to break down you see her eyes more cloud over and uh you know sort of tear up which i guess is supposed to represent amelia's uh confusion and emptiness uh i guess you can infer that much but uh yeah so this sort of uh goes on until the like you know because because amelia was like uh are you still going to love me even if i become like a different person uh, after i've like regained all my memories and i'm like not the same person and super is like you know i still would um and uh yeah of course eventually we get to uh the scene where they they actually end up kissing, which kind of shocked me when I read it, too, because I thought, honestly, I thought throughout the whole story, it would sort of be this whole, like, 
um, will they, won't they sort of thing, where it's like they might say that they like each other, but it won't go much further than that. So I was sort of surprised they, uh, you know, it finally got to that point. But I guess we shouldn't be too surprised because technically, you know, this has happened before uh, earlier on in the season where, you know, when Amelia's mind was broken, uh, she uh, kissed Subaru, but that's not how Subaru wanted it to happen. Uh, so now we sort of have, I guess, sort of the, uh, the, uh, op, the or I guess you would say the inverse of that, where this time it was like a, uh, a more consensual kiss and something Super wanted to actually happen. And, you know, because I think in that one episode it was called The Kiss of Death. And this one is like, uh, I think they say it's like The Kiss of Life or something. It, uh, I think that was one of the chapters in the novel when this happened. Uh, so that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that happens. Uh, I'm pretty sure there might be some fans who are bad about this because, as we know, there's a lot of the fan base is not too fond of Amelia. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, because uh, this is still pissing off like all the rem, uh, yeah. rem fans all around the world. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, of, of course, like they they do like you know, you know, like uh, men, men men fences, and then just pretty 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 much get on an e equal footing at this point. So, and then of course um, I should also afterwards. mention at the end of it, Subaru is reflected in Amelia's eyes. If you noticed, so maybe mm -hmm. now it's yeah. supposed to represent that now she's actually seeing Subaru as or, you know, actually uh, trusts him to some extent or believes in him, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah. Ass assuming if he, like, if Subaru doesn't, you know, fuck up and get into another loop again, but... Uh, there's, um, <laughs> it's too, too many good things have happened for that to happen, but, I mean, I guess it's still a possibility. Yeah, it's like, it, it would... Well, yeah, that for one thing, that would completely suck that <laughs> if subaru like were to re you know redo the loop up you know back to where he was prior to this and like you know he, he would have to redo everything all over again which is kind of a chore to mm -hmm. do um but yeah eventually like you know they they do uh, there's a post credit scene well assuming if you can really call it a post yeah well scene, i should also mention that uh, they, like, this episode had no opening yet again and it also had no proper ending to it well well tech well technically they well, they, did yeah they use, did they like, used like know, the, the opening yeah. thing song but you know, well, I should and, specify and, no new opening. The new opening that we we know is a thing, but we haven't actually seen it yet. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I was a little bit disappointed. I was like, God damn it! But I mean, at the same time, I'm like, I I understand because there's still there's so much content they need to cover. Uh, I really, it almost feels like they're probably going to use the opening much less than they did actually in the first core, just because uh, as far as I, like from what I've read. It's like, yeah, they're going to have to cut that out a lot and have longer episodes because there is quite a bit they still need to get through. So I would not be surprised mm -hmm. if we very rarely actually see the opening in this core. I forgot how many, how long this episode uh, was. It was, was 27, this 27. 20 minutes? minutes. Or was, uh, okay, because that, that's still yeah. long. In, in like, and it didn't you know, really feel that long either. That's the thing. Like, I guess it's because so much happened in the episode. Yeah, I mean, well, the first half of the episode oh, yeah. just mainly focused on Otto, yeah. and then yeah, and of course the second half of the episode was just, you know, it was just uh, ma mainly Su Subaru and uh, Emily were talking to each other for about 10-15 mm -hmm. minutes. Uh, but yeah, like you were saying, yeah, they uh, uh, so basically, I guess you know, the quote-unquote post-credit scene is uh, Subaru and Amelia emerging out of the tomb, and uh, we see uh, the Garfields outside of the tomb, and he was. Uh, Surprisingly, patiently waiting for them, but I mean, I, I mean it kind of makes yeah. sense because Garfield he, actually can't. Uh, well, he also uh, he also has blood on him too. Yeah. It's just like that makes me wonder, like, what the hell happened with uh, Rem and Otto? Yeah, it's a little bit concerning <laughs> during the end of that. But yeah, I, I mean, we'll have to find out next week, assuming if like you know, hopefully Garfield didn't really kill both of them. Well, uh, but we know from yeah, previous I mean, loops, he's. Uh, it seems like he'd be willing to. So that's a good question. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Well, well, we'll have to see next week. But mm -hmm. I thought this was a decent episode. Um, we we finally got like um, you know, like a decent backstory uh, of Otto's past of you know what his life was like. Yeah, I have I have to wonder if like if they're gonna end up going back, you know, to that uh, that one place that Otto, you know, used yeah, to I live. Yeah, I wasn't. Oh, obviously the. Yeah, he's from a different country, and it doesn't really look like the. Uh, I think the country is called Lagunica. Uh, which is where they are supposedly at. Um, it mm -hmm. looks like some kind of a Middle Eastern country, but uh, yeah, that. Yeah. And I, I seen. I also remember, like, uh, I think in the what if storylines, if like 
uh, the the storyline with uh, Subaru and Rem uh, getting married, and they they initially went to like um, li- they left Lagunica and went to this like Japanese inspired like um, I don't know uh, t- city it or could town, be... and they ended up. Yeah, I have there. a theory about that. Like it could actually be where Rem and Ram are originally from, because if you remember in the flashbacks we saw uh, of the two of them in season one, it looked like. Uh, their clothing and the uh, the place they were at kind of seemed to resemble like uh, like feudal Japan or something. Uh, so it, mm-hmm. maybe it could be the same place. Yeah, I mean, uh, but from uh, from what I from what I've seen, like in early, well, pretty much in cov- like uh, light novel covers, I notice like some of the characters will, you know, will travel to different. Um, country yeah. so well i mean it's not it's gonna be a while until like they adapt it but so far like you know we're, we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen with um you know uh with subaru in this timeline timeline yeah. um i would have to say this is probably my favorite episode of the second course so far um just because you know we well we learned more about auto and uh i i do like that they give gave auto a bigger role too because it, in the in the first season and in the beginning of the second season like auto kind of seemed more like uh not not that much of an important character like he was there but he uh there wasn't really too much to him so i like that they kind of fleshed out his character in this episode um and according to some youtubers yeah. who like specifically talk about re-zero stuff uh, we can supposedly expect some other characters also to get fleshed out backstories uh they said all the main yeah. characters apparently get like backstories so uh, I kind of like that if that's the case because then we'll actually have some pretty well developed characters that aren't even technically like the main characters. Yeah, they, I mean they've uh, they did release like several other light novels. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, well the EX novels, diff- yeah. different characters, yeah. Yeah, the EX novels in particular, which I'm curious if they're, like they're going to end up adapting those. Yeah, as, I, like special. I kind of like, hope they do specials. eventually. Like we actually get some adaptations of the EX novels and OEAs because, like you know, yeah, as we know, they did kind of go into Wilhelm's backstory in the first season, but apparently there's much more to that because they released like I think two different volumes that uh, go further into uh, Wilhelm's backstory. Uh, yeah, it's it's just the flashback we saw with Wilhelm was just his uh, relationship with his yeah. wife. Uh, oh, fuck, fuck yeah, I forgot her name. But too. that, like, yeah, but yeah, that there is more to it. The story, like back when he was fighting, uh, uh, when when he was a uh, a young man fight, fighting in the war against the Beastmen, mm-hmm. and, and then like it pretty much comes and it turns into a coming of age story about him growing up uh, like as a as a swordsman, and then before meeting up with his wife, and then. Uh, there's even more stories of like, uh, uh, you know, shortly after he mar- married his wife afterwards. Yeah, um, yeah I, I don't really have too much else to say about this episode in particular. I mean, I, I like that they cut. Like I said, I, I like, and I guess I don't like that they cut out the opening because I've been kind of excited to actually see it. But I guess we'll still have to wait a little bit longer for that. Um, I will say, especially uh, because I, I guess it's not too much of a spoiler, but especially during when we get to Amelia's trial of the past, I don't really expect too many uh, the opening to play too much, to be honest, because there's like so much to cover with that. Uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, I did hear, uh, you know, hear the op- opening. Yeah, well, song we, we know it exists. Supposedly, like, we know it exists. Opening. We just haven't. Yeah, seen it. but I just, I just don't see any point of them even like putting it on there at this point. It if depends. They're, you know, if they're not just, if you know. I mean, they, like, in the last uh, core, they've only shown, like, that opening, like, what, like, three to, f- I think three yeah. times out of, out of, out of like, um, the 12 or 13 episodes they showed in the well, last, you know, in the last but, one. And then they just never go back yeah, to Yeah, like it. I said, I don't think you can expect to see it too much. <laughs> like, it, it'll maybe a few times, but not, not too often. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless uh, if they're just gonna have like maybe an uncut version yeah. and w- in which like they actually put the openings in there i mean yeah. these episodes are freaking long yeah. like well a lot longer than like a normal anime episode uh compared to all other shows so um uh, but yeah i mean honestly i'm not i'm just not too concerned about you know uh, the show's no. openings anymore because they're like like it just never showed I mean, like and we, i don't we've come to expect it at this point um mm-hmm. but yeah like I don't really have too much else, uh, too much else to say about it. Uh, I don't know if you have anything else to add. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I-, I thought this was a decent episode. Um, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I am expecting something um, 
crazier to happen, uh, you know, assuming what what you've told me mm. from what you read in the light yeah, novels um, uh, a little bit later I, on I will the story. say, yeah, when they get but, into you know, Amelia's past, it's when the things are going to get really insane. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully we'll get to find find out a little bit more next week and get, well, get finally get to Amelia's backstory or during the trials. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't wait for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will say uh, the next episode, obviously, you can expect a... Uh, confrontation between Garfield and Subaru. Um, so mm-hmm. that, that's going to happen. Uh, that'll probably be the first half of the episode, and then I think we will definitely, probably near the end of the episode, or if not halfway through, get into Amelia's Trial of the Past. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe they might do one episode focusing on uh, Subaru and Garfield uh, and then doing a I kind of doubt it. It's not, it's not too long in the in the novel, Like I, so I kind of doubt it's going to be the whole episode. Uh, so I think mm. I think it's probably going to play out like yeah like like I said maybe the first half will be like Garfield versus Subaru and then uh, you know we we'll get into Amelia's trial of the past um, it'll, it might end on that note but it's it's hard to say um, but that's kind of what mm-hmm. I expect um, but yeah uh, yeah I guess uh, that all being said uh, until next Wednesday we will see you all later. <laughs>